Um, tonight, uh, we're blessed and um, have the great honor and privilege of being able to take part in um, a baby dedication for Chad and Tiffany and their son, Landon. And uh, for me and my wife, Leslie, it's uh, really very special. And um, we've uh, had some little emotional times. My wife was crying before service. Even she, <laughs> I told her, don't get emotional yet. It's too early. But um, uh, God's brought them into our lives, and they've just uh, been a wonderful blessing to us and just great friends, and it's just been awesome seeing how God is working in their lives and the, the blessing of, of bringing them um, their firstborn son has just been amazing for us to watch. And um, so I'm going to try to do this uh, without getting too emotional, you know, maybe, maybe other people will too. Um, if I if I go too far, you know, uh, we ha- we have uh, Pastor Ed here. He can he can step in if I if I start crying too much or something. But uh, I'm going to ask Chad and Tiff to come on up. And uh, I'm also going to ask if any uh, members of the family would like to come forward at this time and maybe join us up front here. Your more than, more than welcome to come forward. Okay? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I just, I just want to offer that up to anybody who would like to come up and stand with them. Okay. Well, at this time, I'm going to ask uh, Tiffany to hand Landon to Chad, uh, signifying Chad being the spiritual leader in his home. And I'm going to ask them a few questions about this commitment that they're making. And uh, if, um, if, if this is the commitment that you're wanting to make, um, when I'm done, you'll just say that we will. Okay? Um, Chad and Tiffany, um, will you commit to living each day loving God with your whole heart and each day um, leading um, Landon to uh, love him with his whole heart? Will you guide him and nurture him every day following a path that God would have for him and leading him to come to know Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior? Will you love him each day with the love that Christ has for him? Okay. Now, I know, I know some of the family thinks they got out of something here, but I'm going to ask the family to at least stand, if you would. Members of Chad and Tiff's family, if you would just stand right now. And that's awesome. They've got a lot of support here. I, I'm going to ask you some questions. And um, at the end, uh, if you're ready for this commitment, you guys will all say we will as well. Um, as uh, Chad and Tiff's uh, family, I just want to know right now, um, if you are ready to make a commitment to fulfill your responsibilities in the life of Landon, uh, if you will love him the way that Christ loves him, if you will help guide him and direct him in a path that God would have for him, and each day, uh, to the best of your ability, lead him to help him to come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. If so, you'll say, we will. We will. I'm going to ask the rest of our church family to stand. Um, Proverbs, one old proverb says that uh, it takes a whole village to raise a child. Uh, and Christian community is important to the life of a family and the life of a child. So I'm going to ask all of you uh, a series of questions as well. And if you're ready to make this commitment, you'll say we will. Um, church, are you ready to uphold your responsibilities in the life of Landon? Um, are you ready to make a commitment to lead him and guide him to the best of your abilities to follow the path that God would have for him? Uh, will you help him and be pointing him each day, helping him to come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in his life and to love him with the love that Christ has for him? If so, you'll say we will. Okay, you guys can be seated. Um, I'm going to... Uh, At this time, we're just going to anoint Landon. Chad, if you can let me have him here. <laughs> two, two men passing a baby off sometimes doesn't, 
doesn't go really well. Yes. Now, ah, we might have to keep him, brother. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, and he's kind of sleeping right now. I was going to say, if, if he wasn't, he will be once I start talking. I, I have that effect on babies and adults. Um, <laughs> uh, Landon, we anoint your feet to only follow a path that God has for you in life. We anoint your knees to only bow down to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We anoint your heart uh, to always be full of the love of Christ and to share that love with others. We anoint your hands to only do the work that God would have for you to do. We anoint your lips to speak the truth and to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with others. And we anoint your mind to be pure and full with, filled with awe and wonder toward the amazing God that we have. Let me give Landon back to Tiff. At this time, I just want to pray over their family. Um, if anybody wants to come forward and gather around or lay hands on them, we're just going to pray together here. Awesome. Let's pray. Father, we come before you with very humble hearts and just amazed uh, at your goodness. Um, we're filled with such thanks. Uh, we thank you so much as a church family for Chad and Tiffany and for the hearts that they have and the service that they've been doing here every Saturday night. And uh, we just thank you for the joy of being able to see uh, them being led by you and so thankful for the blessing uh, that you've given them and all of us in the birth of land and given them their son. And uh, we just pray over them as a family and pray that your hand of safety, good health, and provision is on them as a family. We pray over Chad and Tiff's marriage. We pray that you are at the center of their marriage and their relationship, and you make it so amazingly strong that uh, nothing of this world can come between it. And we pray over Landon. We pray every day of his life that your hand is upon him, your hand of safety and good health. And we pray that you are guiding his every step from his first step he takes uh, still this year uh, till his last, that you guide each and every step. And we just pray that he uh, uh, worships you and follows you and, and follows your son and just follows the path that you have for him. Um, and I just cannot wait to see the amazing things that you're going to do in his life. Uh, we're just, we're thankful and joyful about it already because we know you're going to do it. Uh, and we love you. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen.